Um, yeah, and uh, this is a question for you, uh, Tess, about, um, you know, I think uh, six three-pointers, uh, and you had that huge one, which was pretty much the, the dagger in the game, uh, kind of pretty much sealed it. Uh, uh, you know, how, like, what, what is it with the three-pointers? Is that something that you practice a lot or just kind of comes natural? Like, that's, <laughs> is that, is that always been, always been a, um, a, a yeah, thing for you? Not really. Um, once I got to college, it just kind of, like, became a part of my, like, player identity, I guess. Um, but all of us as a team, I mean, we have a shot challenge throughout the summer, throughout preseason. And um, I think as a team, just preseason from August until end of end of October, we got up over 56,000 makes. So just emphasizing on that, and obviously my teammates driving and kicking out to me, I mean, they had a hard time guarding Amaya. Eventually they were gonna sink in on her and getting the ball, kicking it out. I mean, the shots were open, so. Um, a l last question. Um, both of you guys had uh, career high days with points, uh, 23 for Tess and 22 for Amaya. Uh, you know, what, what's that mean? Uh, you know, against Kent State, you know, a good team and everything uh, to have uh, career days. Um, obviously, with like Yanni and stuff not being here, we know that some of us had to step up, and that's what I think is like really special about this team is like we have a lot of weapons this year. I feel like I mean, PJ's had. I don't know if she's had career high games, but she's been our leading scorer. Yanni, May can like throw in some points. May, everybody contributes. So I think that it was just a matter of like stepping up. So right. I mean, it's awesome, but again, like it was just a team effort. Um, at each at each point in the game, someone stepped up, and when they were hot, they were hot, and uh, it was fun. Uh, actually, I have one more. Uh, 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 coach Burt, um, he tied the record for uh, most wins for Duquesne's coach. Um, uh, so, uh, what, what's that like? You know, playing. For, you know, this is this is his tenth season as the head coach, and you, you know, you guys have been playing under him. You know, now, uh, you know, recently and everything. Uh, you know, what, what's it like playing for him? And um, you know, for him, he could break the record. You know, the next game. No, it's definitely a special thing to be a part of as a team. Um, I think that he's recruited really good quality people. Like I love this team so much, not only like as players but as people. Um, and that's facilitated a really great environment to be a part of. So I mean. It's cool that we get to be a part of his success um, in being one of the most winningest coaches.